This entire week, I could not get rid of the scripture in Mark chapter 8 and verse 36, and it says, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and then loses his own soul? Or what will it profit me if I gain everything else around me? but then lose it at my, at my house with my children? What, what will profit my life if I succeed in all of these other areas in my life, but then in my own personal being of who I am, I'm not succeeding, that I, I'm not taking care of myself in the Lord. You know, you think about these scriptures, and when you read here in verse uh, 34 of Mark chapter 8, it says, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. What does the cross represent to you? Well, we know to Jesus, the cross, it represented him, him dying and the ultimate sacrifice that he was giving of himself. You know, it wasn't easy for him to take up that cross. It wasn't easy at all. There are going to be times that it's not easy for us to take up our cross and follow him. To truly just deny ourselves. To say that, you know, this old person is dead. And as a matter of fact, God, I'm going to live my life in you. And really, it's a place of just being humble before the Lord. And knowing that I can't do it on my own. I can't do it on my own. And, and I need your help, God. So what does it profit me if I go out in this world and I try to do everything on my own, but in the end, my own home is not experiencing your salvation. In the end, my, my children are getting the, the bad end of the stick because I'm giving everyone else the good part of me. I mean, let's really, let's take this to a personal place where in the end I, I come home and, and I've, put, I've put on this other face for the world and then the, at the end of the day, I'm still not happy with me. At the end of the day, I'm still not happy with my kids. I'm still not happy with my home. I'm still not happy with what God has for my life. No, you know, that's not God's best. It says in verse 37, Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? In verse 38, For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. We have to live our lives unashamed, not only out in the world, but at home, where we recognize that every single day we deny ourselves and we say, God, we want you to take over. You know, I love the phrase, water your own grass, right? You got to take care of your own house. Make sure that we take care of our home, take care of our family, and that we put God first. And that's truly putting ourselves under and saying, God, you are Lord over every area of my life. For me, I recognize uh, with my kids and with my husband that I, I, need to, I need to serve them the way that Jesus wants me to and being a godly wife and a godly mother. And so many of us look at, at being a servant as such a bad thing when we understand that being a servant is being exactly what Jesus has called us to be. And it's living a humble life for him. It's recognizing that this is what matters most. Taking care of myself right where it counts. At my home. I want you guys to think about this week. I want you to think about if there are any areas where you just might be missing it, where you're putting so many other things before what matters most. And to truly recognize that we need to deny ourselves and put Christ first. Denying ourselves, it's saying, God, you are in control. I want you to be first and Lord over all. It's going to be a blessed week, you guys. I'm so excited about this resurrection season of what God has for us. God is so faithful and he loves you so very much. And he's going to take care of you because he, he's just that good. We serve an, an awesome God. All right. Well, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.